Oops. Good morning, ladies. My name is Chaz, and welcome to the custom card review. I know that I, he, like, chose not to do, like, one of these, but this is the custom cards. So, each one of these is the updated version of my favorite archetype that's the literal weakest one because last night I dueled against the someone used the uh, I forget his name the abs or abyss actor hers the is there a, I can't say that name because I don't think I could say it properly. So that's what Abyss actor super her like someone played that archetype against me and I lost twice to him. So yeah, and no, it's not the. Um, Florentine Yu-Gi-Oh. And I think, this is my opinion, ready? I think Florentine Yu-Gi-Oh is so busy with so many other stuff. And he does not, like, go all the way. So, yeah. So, let's begin. Custom Beast, or let's, archetype is basically a bunch of cups. Like, that's a cup, that's a cup, that's a cup. The spell cards are supposed to be like, if, if they see, if you guys see this one, like, can beast, that's supposed to be cup. Beast. With like cups instead of can. So cup beast. Are a. This is a backstory. So cup beast. Live their peaceful lives. In their. City. But one day. Evil. Demonic. Dark world. Monsters. Comes. And broke all of them. And they all like. All those broken pieces of. The cups. Reformed in a recycle bin. There. They meet. The. Picker. Hold on. The grabber. So, sorry. Not picker, but grabber. So, the... Basically... Yeah, and if you heard me talking, it's just the, I, uh, it said picker. I said picker, but not uh, really loud. I said picker. It's supposed to be like grabber. So they meet grabber. A homeless person, or no, homeless monster like, every card that was, like, got hit on the ban list, but they became unlimited, and so they became, like, the tears, or, so they, so it is like a witch's thing. 
he was a spellcaster that got put on a ban list and got took off the ban list and the people or he grabs the glass cups and they reformed him them into better ones. But he treated them as they wanted to be treated. Not as not be like so they mean or they be friends with him. And they Yeah, he's a lunatic. So then the he made uh, new cups for it. Like this guy, the for them to play around with. And they had or some of the like damage that people like some of the monsters are like scourged against him because he was like being like too broken. So they so he threw cups beasts out and they found or they get found by by these girls oh that were trying to dodge the attacks of of the monsters that were a lot higher levels than or a lot more attack points and, and, yeah, that were beating them on. Um, so then the cups, beasts, showed their, like, stuff. Basically, a.k.a., they used their monsterish stuff, like the... Their grabbers. They grab the opponent, drags him down. Um, no, absorbing them into themselves, gaining their effects. Yeah, but one nuked the entire city. Yeah, and it just, it, like, everyone was in pain. Yeah. So then the, so the damage control oh, was there. To clean up the mess. But. Other than that. The. Those. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> Befriended, like, be nice to those cubs. And the cubs was being nice to them. We, they offered their assistance, assistance to the, um, so, yeah. So let's get into the custom archetype that made up for the custom story. So let's go from this way to go downward. So Cup Beast Crossover of Love is a quick play spell card. If this card is activated, you can tribute one Cup Beast monster from the field or discard it 
hand to your graveyard. Spells summon two monsters from anywhere to your field in the defense mode. But their defense points become double the defense points. If this card is sent to the grave, you can select one card from your deck or graveyard or banish zone to your hand or to be added to your hand. Shuffle this card into the deck. If it does, skip your opponent's battle phase. Yeah, and it's supposed to be like a reference to like how they like be like distributed or discarded from the hand. And 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 their effects goes off. So the damage control, oh, this one is fire, level 4, machine effect monster. It, most of these have flip effect monsters, and some do not, like this one ha does not have it. So if this card is, or if your opponent declares an attack, you can reveal this card from your hand. Shuffle it into the deck. If it does, negate that that attack and end their turn. Then, at the end phase of this turn, your opponent takes damage equal to the attacking monster's attack points instead of you. If this card is discarded by a card effect, you can select one cut beast card from anywhere except this card add it to your hand if it does then shuffle this card into the deck so yeah so you can reveal this card shovel it into your deck and then if it's discarded by a card effect like card of destruction or something it brings uh, the one of the other cards out. And then we got the Cup Beast Multiverse. It's a dark level 4 machine effect monster. Which is flip. You can basically select one Cup Beast from your deck or hand. Except this card. It's supposed to summon it to your field in face down defense mode. If it does, then shuffle this card into the deck from your field or graveyard or battle zone. You can only use this effect for once per turn. If this card is discarded by a card effect, you can select one monster from your opponent's extra deck or deck to be sent to the grave. Special summon one monster from your deck or extra deck to your field in face down defense mode equal to that selected monster's level so basically if it, the first effect it has two effects first effect is a flip effect basically once you flip it it Searches out another one, summons it to the field, and shuffles that card back into the deck. But if it was discard, number two is different. If it was discarded, then you can select a card from your opponent's deck or extra deck. Send it to the grave, then you can special summon the level equal to it. So. Yeah, then Cup Beast Grabber is a continuous spell. Once per turn, you can select one Cup Beast monster from the graveyard or banistone or deck. Set it to your face. Your, no, to your field in 
face down defense mode. If it does, or no, if this card is sent to the grave, you can select one card from your hand or field, shuffle it into the deck. If it does, then shovel this card into the deck. Then you draw three cards from the top of your deck. So, yeah, it is like the <clears throat> Call of the Mummies thing. Things that I think I call it right, but the, yeah. So then the flame hand and was has a similar effect, but the if this card is discarded by a card effect, you can select one card from your opponent's deck, send it to the grave. If it does, then inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent's life point. So, basically, if you use, like, a spell, one of the spells that tributes it, inflicts damage to it equal to its defense, you basically went from 200 to 2,200, like 22. Oh. And, yeah. So then the spell cards. City of the Cup-Ups Beast is a field spell. But this card turn is basically all face-down defense mode monsters on the field. Cannot be destroyed by a battle or by card effects. And is unaffected by card effects. If this card is sent to the grave, you can select one card from your field, or from the field, shuffle it into the owner's deck. If it does, then this card is shuffled into the deck. Yeah. So, basically, it is trying to word it as, uh, like, if it was in, like, oh, I'm covering behind a big body of water. I'm underwater. And my opponent attacks me. You normal under normal circumstance that would been like hey, the flip um 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 and it can't be destroyed. So, yeah. So then, we got Cup Beast, Big Roll. And it's, you can tribute one Cup Beast monster from the field to the graveyard. Inflict damage to your opponent's life points equal to the tributed monster's defense points. Because in this archetype, it doesn't re really rely on the attack except for one of their attack point monsters. So, yeah, then if this card is in your graveyard, you can. Shovel this card, then select two cards, or set two cut beast monsters from anywhere to your field. And face down defense mode. Then the card, this card will protect them. And then if it does, then your opponent can, is skipped. Yeah. So then, recycle. Is basically for the archetype to get, like, what I said, the part that they were, um, like, they got destroyed and they recycled the pieces.
Yeah, so that's what this card is rev or was built to do. It shuffles all the Cup Beast mon cards from the your graveyard or abandoned zone into the deck. Add three spell cards from your from anywhere except this card to your hand. If this card is, or if it does, then inflict 100 damage to your opponent's side points, or each card from your deck by this effect. Four once per turn. If this card is in your graveyard, you can shuffle this card into the deck, draw four cards from the top of your deck. Yeah. So then got a monster that basically the it can search out two monsters from either place graveyards or banner zones and set them face down in defense mode. So that would be crazy if you add like if you had like morphine jar and the Fiber jar. Her. Her. To your field. You basically can. And. You can uh, trigger their effects. So yeah. And it has some protection. And if it, yeah, so the, that one can attack again. And then this one is kind of like broken because I am not a noob, but I wanted to create this archetype as a like joke archetype where it is a powerhouse, but not like it's not as like broken as the like my anti soul archetype. So yeah. I kinda feel bad. And nice to Oh like yeah. So this run fusion is a posmation with extra things and then the you can shovel this card if the fusion monster got destroyed and it summons that destroyed monster but its defense points become double yeah so yeah hmm eh? hmm eh? So then the crazy, or all three of them, I'll just re review. So they all have this effect of, once they are flipped, basically like, you know how like you go into a cabinet and like, you flip the cabinet door doors open and you grab a cup? And you do, like, your thing. It's basically like that, but the... Basically, it's, like, can search each other's out. Uh, Spouse summons it... To like a defense mode. He's done defense mode. Like. <clears throat> because they are broken. But. Okay. So. And reason why they have the. Go into the deck. On the field. Or graveyard or bandstone. Is because you like. After you're done with a cup, you rinse it and, like, clean it out. Then, then you put it back in the... 
in cabinet. Okay, so that's what it is. So if you guys want me to create a trap card for this archetype to match just what I'm trying to say. Yeah, because most of these pictures or most of these effects are kind of broken. And so, like, if your opponent declares an attack or... Yeah, if it was discarded. Because this card is shuffled into the deck, not not discarded. So basically, it's pretty balanced in my opinion. I don't know. I want your opinion. So, and the question that I asked earlier, the, in, the what if Zuku gains the powers every day? Like AKA the this one. Hmm? This is a do you want to or her to be his girlfriend? Hun? Or do you want me to just like and the what if. It's your choice. So, yeah. Plus, you really don't see too many of these cards. These ones. With the, like, you can select one face-up monster on your opponent controls in this card's column. Moves this card. You control to the other of your monster zones, and then, yeah. So, basically, I don't understand why. Because in my new drawing thing, this spell card has the middle girl, this girl right here, this one, in the middle of it. Okay, so, so if you guys want me to do a new archetype, because this is just for a joke archetype, so bye-bye, peace out, y'all.